cut up here. This camera is not picking up properly, so I'm not even gonna walk around the tree, but I have about two dozens. That's my pear tree. It's big. It's a, I don't know, it's probably about five years old or so. This is my persimmon. There, this tree is the this tree is loaded. Like totally loaded. y'all know that you could actually use these the young persimmon leaves and grind it up with, date, with some olive oil and it's good for your skin all right this is my Santa Rosa plum the other one died last year so I got me another one this is the other persimmon Over here is an apple, a Fuji apple. Right here <coughs> is my little fig. I just got that. Right over there is another, I think it's a Granny Smith apple. But what I want to really show y'all is my my carrots. That's um, our butternut squash. Look at my carrots, y'all. They're what they're doing so good. And those are my green onion scallion. Okay, those scallions are from the little pieces that I cut off in my kitchen, okay? And they are beautiful. If I say so myself. And I cut them every day. And use from it. My time. My time. I didn't even know time could blossom, but I guess everything can. See the, the white flowers on there. That's my time. This is the lemon tree lid. The tree is way more than four feet. Cause I'm five nine and it's taller than me, so see I fruits, but there. Look at the ground is full. I mean, there it's falling off like, but at least it still have some blossom. drains there's some big holes in there so i know it's not safe collecting water so i don't know what's going on i'll give it something so you have still have blossoms but as soon as they open they fall off 